Today's video will show you all the amazing things we saw and did in Beirut, the capital city of Lebanon. Considered one of the oldest cities in the world, having been continuously inhabited for more than 5,000 years, naturally, our journey began here. By the end of this video, you will learn why Lebanon is often described as the Paris of the Middle East. It took us a couple days to explore the whole city and see what exactly it had to offer. We walked along the corniche. I keep having to warn her not to take photos when there's military cars or checkpoints around. Um, I don't want to get in trouble. I think. <laughs> and made sure we saw the world famous pigeon rocks, which were absolutely stunning. We are in the middle of Rocha, Beirut. Uh, Beirut is actually a city that we we had no expectations, but uh, to be honest, it's absolutely stunning. It's it's beautiful. We'll show you some footage of uh, Rocha where we're just um, uh, leaving right now. We're headed towards the um, uh, lighthouse. Apparently, that's another really touristy, really beautiful area. And uh, hopefully, we can find a uh, mall or something, or they call it souk here. This is um, not the Beirut you expected. This is not the Beirut we expected. It's <laughs> actually absolutely beautiful here. So as we're walking back, uh, we came across this convenience store. You can pay a couple bucks and grab an espresso and just enjoy this absolutely stunning view behind us here. Um, so you don't have to pay, uh, you know, uh, 30, 40 bucks for uh, a hookah or something, or even like 10 bucks for a coffee at, uh, at the restaurant across the street. You can just sit here, just nice, relaxing environment and enjoy the view. And of course, in the Arab world, no espresso is complete without your Galaxy Bar. That's probably the best chocolate on Earth. Lebanon went through a long and devastating civil war. As we explored the city, we saw a blend of old world meets new world and buildings that gave us chilling reminders of the painful past the country has gone through. Beirut is a lively city that is a mosaic of rich cultural and religious significance. The history goes far back, making it a good pick if you enjoy spending some time visiting just some of the museums that the city has to offer. Beirut is also centrally located, which made it a very convenient spot for us to travel to and from to see some of the must-see tourist spots. For example, from Beirut, you can easily take a day trip to see Biblos, the Gita Grotta Caves, and even Baalbek, like we did. If you're curious about what Baalbek actually looks like, check out our Baalbek video here to see more. In Beirut alone, there is actually 18 recognized religious groups. Here in the city, you can find a mosque next to a church, which truly demonstrates that it is possible for people with differences to live in peace and harmony. Unfortunately, before we went to Lebanon, so many people warned us and expressed their concerns that we would be putting ourselves in risk, jeopardizing our safety, and thought we would be met with strict traditional expectations. However, as soon as we arrived, we learned that these misconceptions could not be further away from the truth. The Lebanese people do not shy away from enjoying their cultural experiences and their lives. We experienced this firsthand when we went to the musical hall one evening, a nightclub that filled our hearts and minds with joy and the best entertainment available. Clearly, nightlife and partying is not a foreign concept to the Lebanese. So why is Lebanon known as the Paris of the Middle East? For its architecture, souks, and designer shops that are super high-end. We walked through the souks, which were recently rebuilt in 2009. 
Although they were super chic and very trendy, we couldn't help asking ourselves where the locals were or even the tourists. This made us question the affordability of the souks themselves. However, we really recommend just walking around and hanging out in this area because it's really, really pretty. Mamoon and I ended our days unwinding the way most Arabs do with ordering some tea, lighting up the shisha, and enjoying the fine sweets that the Lebanese are known for. It's a pastry filled with cheese topped with um, Pistachio. uh, pistachios and a lot of sugar. Mm. We'll, we'll have it. <laughs> You're going to videotape me eating this? not as elegant as I'd like it to look. <laughs> I'll have to try again. <laughs> well, no travel vlog is complete without <laughs> eating. Oh wow. That's very good. This is her first time trying Middle Eastern sweets in the Middle East, That's I guess. really, really good. Lebanon is a fun, booming metropolis with the Mediterranean seaport, spectacular views, religious and historical sites, and a pretty awesome story to tell. The next time someone makes a comment about Lebanon or asks you something about it, we encourage you to share this video with them. And if you like our content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Lastly, have you been to Lebanon? Let us know what your thoughts are in a comment below. Thanks for watching.